It's Christmas time. It's no, Christmas I'm gonna read this book again. The season of peace is finally here. When Hi guys! Right now I'm getting ready to go to Barnes and Noble, but I really wanted to show you guys my outfit. Um, look what I'm wearing. It's honestly really cute. Um, my my siblings were like complimenting me. I was like, guys, stop! But I'm wearing this Columbia sweatshirt. It was so funny because my dad was like, "Do you go to Columbia? Did you did you apply there for medical school?" I'm like, Dad, it's just a, it's a sweater. Like, why can't I wear school name sweaters for a fashion statement? And then um, under this, I put a collar shirt that I thrifted. Um, I'm wearing this um, padded, this patterned skirt that I got from, I believe, Marshall's um, fleece tights. And then, of course, you guys saw my ruffle um, socks and my loafers. But right now, Jalila and I are going on a sister date. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble's. And I'm really, really excited because Jalila got me a Barnes & Noble gift card. She's so cute. She's so she got me a Barnes & Noble gift card um, just to, like, you know, say congratulations for getting up to medical school. If you guys saw my, like, I think my second Vlogmas, I talked a little bit about that. And so now I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm super excited to go to Barnes & Noble. I haven't been here, actually. <gasps> no! One year ago, I went to this Barnes & Noble. It's by my house, but, like, I just don't be making time to go to Barnes & Noble because, like, I don't like, you know, spending money on books. I'd rather just check it out or thrift it. So I'm not really always at Barnes & Noble. But I'm actually going back now, so I'm excited. So we're first going to go ahead and get some coffee at Starbucks and then do some bookstore shopping and some reading. Hi, can we please do two separate orders? Uh, I can just do the sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich. We get a grande ice matcha latte with, um, um, three pumps of peppermint syrup and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Three pumps of peppermint and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Anything else? No, that's it for the first order. Oh, it looks good. Good, how are you? Good, you totaled 1065. Ask you a question. Oh, careful. Oh. It's because it's, it's going to ask you a question before you go through. I don't want you to accidentally press oh, something. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, thank you. The mine's the one in the front. We have this conversation all the time, me and Jalila, but like, I don't believe in tipping for like doing, um, and you guys can call me broke, I don't care, okay? Because people call me broke. I don't believe in tipping for like takeout. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't. And then like even like, and I only believe in like tipping for service. And what I mean by like service, I mean I like doing like tipping. Um, like when I say service, I mean I tip for people like, okay, let's say like you're a waiter. And I really liked you. Like, you did good. Like, you went above and beyond your normal role for your job. I'm going to tip you. But I also don't like here in America the tipping culture where it's like, oh, just because someone served you, like, as a waiter, but they're a bad waiter. Like, they just did the bare minimum. You have to tip them. Like, I don't believe that. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's, a, like, that's your job. Yeah. Is that mean? Like, I don't believe I don't believe in tipping people can, for their job. I feel like tipping should be a choice. Yeah, you can tell she felt kind of awkward even that. Yeah, she was probably too. really awkward. She was yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. No. Yeah, I'm like, uh. That was so awkward. They made me do that at my job. Like, this is my first time trying their grilled cheese. Okay. Oh, really? Mmm, it's pretty good. I'm finally using the gift card that Julia got me. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. You're she's welcome. She, I'm the best sister. She's honestly such a good sister. She'll be doing some sentimental stuff. Yeah. But thank you so much. I'm excited, but I'm hoping that one book is in $25. I know. Exactly. I'm praying that it's like $10. I know. I'm I like, think it is. Well, if it is $25, you can always add $100. Oh. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Period. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not going to add 30. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, yeah. Julie and I right now are talking know. about Hello. how um, every time we wear a mask, people look at us weirdly. And it's All like... All the time, literally. Like, well, I mean, let's normalize letting people wear our masks. Or unless, or maybe they're looking at us because we're vlogging. I don't know. Who cares? Why don't you put it up there? Maybe. I feel like they're looking at us because we're vlogging. But normalize letting people wear a mask because I they know. want to. Okay? I yes, know. Okay.
Okay, so we just finished shopping and we actually ended up going to more than um, one. We, we actually ended up going to more, more than, than just Barnes and Noble, yeah. honestly. And so, first of all, we got these cute little bags. I got a small version. Do the show your bag. With the bigger one. That's the bigger version. It's so cute. Hers is so cute because it literally Yours says. Is too. Wait, it says this. So many. Um, so many books, so, so little okay. time. And that's Julia always saying. She was yeah. like, I have so many books, Aaliyah. But I don't know, guys. Like, I feel like I'm healing my inner child. You guys don't understand. Like, when I was little, the Scholastic Book Fair, I used to be so, 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 so excited about it when they would decorate the library. And it was just, like, literally, like, heaven. And I would always just get so sad because mm -hmm. I couldn't get anything from the book fair. And I was with all my friends buying stuff from the book fair. So, like, to be older now and be able to buy myself and, like, heal my inner child and be able to go to Barnes and Noble mm -hmm. uh, guys I just I didn't want to leave I just didn't want to leave but mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you guys the books I got <laughs> first of all John, thank you so much for the gift oh card God. I know but guys I feel bad because I gave her a $25 gift card thinking the books were like cheap or whatever tell me why it came out to $50 I know it came out to $50 and I was then in shock I paid $25 but you know what Jess did you feel bad do you want to send me you want to tell me no no thank you uh, I don't feel that bad I don't feel bad <laughs> so, okay for context on why Julie gave me that gift card um I've been telling Julie that one no I'm... let me explain it because I got it okay fine go explain it so the reason why I got her the gift card was because she always said like oh my god like I want to start my own library because right now she checks out books from our public library you know whatever she's a sustainable queen whatever sustainable no i'm broke yeah girl. you're broke <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to tell the camera she's always saying how like she wants to start her library when she moves out and she's going to medical school soon so she'll have her own apartment and stuff so she wants to have like a mini library so i was like okay let me get this for her for you know getting into medical school or whatever and then um to start her little book collection yeah so i was like okay and i wanted the reason why i want my own library like even when i'm older and i'm married i want one room mm -hmm. that's just going to be a library like Mm -hmm. kind of just like my I feel like libraries are my safe space like I just feel so like at peace whenever I'm like around my books and stuff mm -hmm. it just makes me so so happy like even I want my library to have like my favorite children's book you know I'm talking about books I grow up with because I don't know like I feel like I'm recognizing my inner child like I'm acknowledging it and it just makes me very very happy and so that's one of the main reasons why I wanted a like a mini library probably my room um, when I'm in medical school but when I'm rich and I have a mansion. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I have a library. Mm -hmm. But the books that I got is I wanted to get my favorite books that I've read this year. I don't want to buy new books. Maybe like when I'm older and I have like m like more money or um, to be able to buy as many like new books. I'm probably investing like books I think are really nice at Barnes and Noble. Like oh that looks like a good topic. I'll read it. But. I'm not on that stage and one of the main reasons why I didn't want to just go to Barnes & Noble and get a bunch of new books is that sometimes I'll go to the library and I'll check out like a new book for example mm -hmm. fix it fix her up um, by Tessa Bailey I'm like oh it looks good and then I read it and I can't finish it because it's so bad Bad, yeah. and you so like at it. the library I can easily return it but at Barnes & Noble I can't do that I'm stuck with that book forever that's true and I don't have like extra income to be getting in like, my opinion you know what I, mean? I feel like I mean, yeah, it's good to, like, you know, spend money on books and stuff. But, like, I feel like that's a waste of money if you're, like, don't like the book. Exactly. Because I'm not going to just be, like, a lot of clutter. Yeah. So i rather, I feel like what you did was smart because you got books that you would read again. Yeah. And, like, that you, like, were memorable. Yeah, were memorable. Like, so yeah. let me show you guys the books and let me explain each one. So the first one is I got I love, I love the love hypothesis. You guys already know this was my bonus. favorite book, and it has the bonus chapter on um, yeah. Adam's point of view. Ma it matters. Okay, yeah, the you, bonus chapter you know, matters. You know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and it was like buy one get one fifty percent off. And so I'm like they're having a little sale. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I got the love hypothesis is that you guys know me. I'm a scientist. Mm -hmm. I'm a scientist. I love science. And the main character, um, she's a scientist. And the guy, yeah, he's doing research. And the guy is like a PhD. Oh, my God. I'm going to yeah. read this book again. I know. I'm going to read, read again. this book again. And so I went ahead and I bought it because I love this book. For once, the main character, Olive, I really saw her, you know, I saw myself in this character. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and got this book again. And then for like the buy one, get one, like half off. I got love in other words book is so cute mm -hmm. like it's childhood to lover story no, no childhood it's childhood friends 
Two lovers, but second chance. Two lovers, and then second chance romance. Yeah. So it's like all of the tropes kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But they wrote it, they write it really good. Both of them. Sorry, because it's two authors. It's Christina and Lauren. And friends to lovers. Yeah, childhood friends. Yeah, childhood friends to lovers. lovers. Yeah. And so I really like this book because the main character is a doctor. And she's a doctor in San Francisco. And you guys know I work in San Francisco. So I was like, oh my God. I want to go to medical school. I want to be a doctor. Yeah. And then she works in San Francisco. I'm like, I work in San Francisco. So I got this book. And they see a lot of the places that when I'm in San Francisco, I go to. So it really makes me feel like I'm like part of that character. Mm-hmm. And so I got it. And look at the cover. It's just so cute and pink. Um, you can kind of see a match. Yeah. Um, I got my friend this for um, her birthday. LOL. But I got this book. And then the last one that I got was Book Lovers yeah. by Emily Henry. This book was so good. Jalila, I know Jalila. No, I liked it. I Jalila, did. Well, she liked it, but she said it was a slow burn. No, um, this one wasn't a slow burn. Yeah, I was. said the people we meet. That she no, but did. this was on slow burn. Remember? Like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it was, but people we, this was a better slow burn yeah, for her. Better, like, yeah. Emily Henry, I'm in a love-hate relationship because... The people we meet on vacation was so slow. Yeah, like, it was very slow. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was very, very slow. But this one was good. I thought this it was, was mature. This one was good. Very, very mature, mature, very realistic. realistic um yeah. it, was, it was a cute, really cute story. The girl's tall. I'm oh, yeah, tall, yeah, but Julia's tall. taller than me, but if, if Julia no, was here, too, I would though. say I'm also tall. So yeah, I got Damn. this book. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Wait, 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 wait. Show them our bookmarks. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wait. our bookmarks. I forgot about this. Our bookmarks. I got Harry Potter bookmarks because you, you guys know me. First? Yeah. I got Harry Potter because you guys know I love Harry Potter. I'm going to do Harry Potter marathon, actually. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Um, yeah. What house do you think I'm in? What house do you guys think I'm in? Slytherin? Yeah. I'm, well, I feel like I'm a Slytherin, but I actually took the test on Pottermore, and it says I'm a Gryffindor. What am I? I don't know, girl. You have to take the test. Like, is it based on Zodiac? <laughs> it's not based on Zodiac, based on personality. What is this? Okay. Um, I got Pokemon, which honestly I just got for the aesthetics because I don't watch Pokemon. Yeah. I'm fake, but um, <laughs> I just thought it was cute. So yeah, it is cute. It's cute. And for Sam's gift, you guys are laughing at me because it's from Trader Joe's. So my, Sam, Sam's my boyfriend. Okay, guys, if you guys don't know who Sam is, Sam's my boyfriend, and he's like obsessed with plantain chips. Mm-hmm. From Trader Joe's, these plantain chips. He's literally obsessed. Anytime I FaceTime him, he's eating these. Um, he's like, oh, can you help me Trader Joe's? He only goes to get these. He's obsessed. And so my boyfriend does not like Christmas presents at all. He hates when I buy him gifts. But my boyfriend spoils me, like, a lot. <laughs> he, he, he spoils me a lot. And I'm like, I really want to give him a Christmas present. Even though he's like, don't get me a Christmas present. I don't want anything. I really wanted to get him a Christmas present this year. Because I love him. And he does so much for me. And so... Um, I asked him what he wanted for Christmas and he was like, oh, you want, what I want for Christmas is eight plantain chips. And I'm like, and he knows it's a stupid answer and he's like, I know Leah's not going to get me that. So that's basically why he said it. So I was like, bet. I went ahead and bought eight of the plantain chips that he likes. And then I also bought him a Trader Joe's gift card because he's in residency. So basically like he's broke and he lives in San Francisco. <laughs> um, and if you guys don't know what residency is, residency is like after medical school, um, you're a doctor, but you have to go to residency for like a specific training. So if you want to do surgery, then you go to residency for that. And that's like, I think that's six to seven years. My boyfriend's doing internal medicine. So he's in a three year residency program and residents get paid. Like, honestly, they work, they get overworked by like 80 hours. Basically they're going to be like $13 an hour because although they have like a salary of like 70 to 80,000 now, and then after residency, they start getting like the real doctor money they're so overworked that it turns out it ends up being like $13 an hour because they work 80 hours a week and so um I know he'll always tell me about how groceries are really expensive in San Francisco and I know he loves going to Trader Joe's that's where he really gets all his groceries so I went ahead and I bought him um a Trader Joe's gift card and I went ahead and put money on it and so I'm not hanging out with him on Christmas this year because he is working so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put his gift in a box he doesn't even know that he's getting anything from me and then i'm gonna mail it to his apartment and i'm really excited to see his reaction yeah. and i have a big mouth i always end up spoiling stuff i saying i got you something but this time i'm gonna be really quiet I'm, i want to be like 
Ali, I got this weird box in the mail and it's like, it's for me. I'm like, oh, really? Open it. Open it. Yeah, and I think that's a good gift. Too. It's gonna be a good gift. Sister's here. We're meeting up with my older sister. We're going to Ono, Hawaiian. And we're gonna eat, just catch up, talk. Mm -hmm. And I think after that, um, Zeta wanted us to walk, you know, along Ventura Boulevard. So we're also gonna do that. So yeah, I'm really hot in my car. So let's leave, please. Cause I'm like, I'm heating up. Look at that right there. Look at that. That's so pretty. So I just got back from Venice Canal. My siblings' gifts have not come yet. I'm actually really, really scared. I should probably track it right now to see when it's coming because Christmas is like in a week. Like what's going on? So one of my sister's um, gifts actually came in the mail, um, but her other one is like, it's missing. It's missing. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead um, and put, try to put my gift under the Christmas tree. But this gift is actually um, a gift from my boyfriend to me. And let me explain basically what it is. So, so I know you're thinking, Aliyah, what do you mean your boyfriend's gift to you? Why are you putting it like, you know, under a tree? Why are you wrapping your gift? And why do you know what it is? Okay, basically, um, my boyfriend, he literally just doesn't like... Like, he doesn't like having to search buying gifts. Call him lazy or whatever. I don't know what it is. But he definitely just does not like searching for gifts and trying to find out, like, what's the best item for me. Especially because he's in residency. He likes to take the easy way out. Like, any time. Like, he likes to work smarter, not harder. So what he does is that instead of giving a gift, he just likes to give me money. And so he's, like, basically, like, okay, I honestly don't really want to go shopping for your Christmas present. And I know you're really picky. So I'm going to give you this x y and z amount of money and you just buy yourself the gift and then you put it in a bag and you put it on the christmas tree and i'm like i'm fine with that because see my problem is when my boyfriend buys me a gift and i don't like it so i'm like yeah give me the money and i buy myself my own gift so basically this is a gift for me um i got myself a vivian westwood necklace and i don't know should i show you guys it today or should we wait till christmas I'm gonna wait till Christmas. I promise. I'm gonna post a video. I'm showing my guests. It'll probably be like a short one of like Christmas Day, but we're gonna wait till Christmas, okay, guys? Like, I'm sorry. But I got myself a Vivian Westwood necklace. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then I also, um, he bought me these shoes. He bought me these shoes. Well, actually, he did because when I ordered these shoes, it was in San Francisco. I was like, oh my God, these shoes look so cute. And he's like, oh, here's my credit card. I was like, okay. So he bought me these shoes. And then um, the last part of my gift was I ended up buying the Sony headphones. And I'll just go ahead and show you guys how they look like. I was getting it the Bose, the Bose. Bose headphones, the B-O-S-E headphones. I was going to get them, but then I went to, what do you call it? I went to Best Buy and they were so ugly guys they were ugly so instead i actually ended up getting the sony wh 1000 x5 wireless noise canceling headphones and they look like these and they didn't actually have them in stock so i had to order it um there i was kind of annoyed but i got them in black i didn't want to get them in white because the white ones like the best way to display it was dirty. I was like, ew. 
like I don't want my headphones to get dirty easily so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and get the black ones but yes that's what I get I'm gonna go ahead and you know put my gift under the tree it's gonna be super super cute and then after that I'm going to head out to bed because I actually do have work tomorrow morning